is a question that even I have asked myself why yeah. this wasn't taught to us in school because yeah. if you see uh, no matter who you are or what you do right mm-hmm. I mean there are hundreds and thousands of different professions and hundreds of professions and degrees that you can do to get those different jobs yeah. but at the end of the day everybody is getting money and nobody True. is teaching how to manage that money in school or college whenever right we only start mm-hmm. thinking about it once we hit our first salary mm-hmm. first salary also we buy gifts and let it go second salary or not we don't know what to do it's staying in our savings account after our mm-hmm. parents tell us something we put it in our fixed deposits this is the majority of the people what they do right nobody is teaching us this so even i don't know the answer to why it is not included i'm definitely uh, it should be included um and there is definitely scope for creating a new subject which is mandatory for everybody to learn about at least the basics of personal finance uh, maybe not to the extent of learning the different tax laws but at least to the extent that when they finally uh, get money they can at least understand the articles regarding return about you know personal finance that they shouldn't be able to they, it shouldn't feel like greek and latin to them so what what happens usually is when you read an article if you do not understand what the words are you won't understand the article so at, so at least that should be taught in school that what these different words mean that's what does inflation mean what does uh, um, income tax mean why do we pay the income tax uh, what is the what how does the equity market work how does the debt market work at least if this basics of this is taught then finally when we start making money you can at least understand the literature which is written on that today the problem is no matter how how many articles are written it is only appealing to a small number of people who are finance savvy many people think it's yeah. not their job they'll tell the ca that's it khatam ho gaya yeah, so that is a problem yeah because it's too complicated but i mean it looks complicated right. i don't know if it is but it looks complicated so we like Is it for us only small number of people think it is interesting mm-hmm. and i belong to the one of them i i, I like it i like it i like to read it because i feel, genuinely think it's interesting yeah. uh, but for the large number of people it's not right and the, that it is it is okay if it was any other kind of subject let's mm-hmm. say if it is organic chemistry it is okay if 99% of us think it's boring and we don't want to study about <laughs> it but finance is not one of them right because oh. it's so important so okay. you should learn so which is the one subject that should be dropped you know put you in trouble now <laughs> I mean I hated organic chemistry because <laughs> I don't use it you know I yeah. my 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 reason for saying that is that I'm that is something I have no I don't use it in my life today physics I really like one of my favorite subjects back in school even though I'm not applying physics today I really enjoy the subject because it it taught it teaches us how the world works mm-hmm. but organic chemistry was just about memorizing right I don't yeah. even remember what I studied today <laughs> right at least physics I remember <laughs> Right, so I'll just put it this way that I think in school it's a nice way to give exposure to everything thoda thoda hmm. that the people who have interest in a particular subject they can explore that and then right. later they can pursue it right. and but yes finance should also be included absolutely i, I think yeah. yeah since everybody needs it and right. they use it best entertainment gaagi like follow mat to subscribe maade red fm kannada